Good evening. Welcome to ITV News Time Tees. Tonight's headlines. Hand them over. A mother who lost her son through a knife attack welcomes the ban on so-called zombie knives and machetes. It should have been done a long time ago, if I'm honest, and I think a lot of people in my position will agree with that. It has been a long time coming, but it is a positive step forward. Another man jailed for his part in the Sunderland riots, and a mother of six behind bars told her actions in Hartlepool were truly disgraceful. Also tonight, why our mountain rescue teams want more women to volunteer for the service. And down to 10 men, Newcastle still get a winning start to their season, while unstoppable Sunderland have a four-goal thriller at the Stadium of Light. Good evening. First tonight, it's time to do the right thing and hand them over. That's the rallying cry from a northeast mother who lost her son to knife crime. She's been responding to news that the government is about to get tougher on weapons that have cut deep here. Next month, after years of campaigning, so-called zombie knives and machetes will be outlawed under new legislation. Tanya Brown lost her son Connor to a knife attack in a Sunderland street. She told our correspondent Greg Eastfield that the new law also needs the right response from the law courts to really make a difference. They are just...